Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the various anesthesia anesthetic techniques used for the experimental animals. The saying says that there are no safe anesthetic agent, so all anesthetic agents are associated with some side effects. There are no safe anesthetic procedure and the procedure also having some drawback. There are only safe anesthetics. So, it should be the dictum uh, for the entire anesthetic procedure in every practices. So anesthesia, it is a medical treatment or uh, drugs that prevents uh, patients or animals from painful feeling during the procedures like surgery, certain screening and diagnostic procedure. Anesthetics are divided majorly into two types. One is the general anesthesia and it produces loss of consciousness and used for the major surgical procedure. Another is the local anesthesia, which is used locally. It produces loss of sensation and used for minor surgical procedure. Now some points are also considered while going with the anesthetic agents. So the painful procedure, all the painful procedures, they should be conducted under appropriate anesthetics agent. Anesthesia should be given for full duration of the experiments. No anesthesia will be uh, complete before the experiments. And no stage the animal is conscious to pursue pain during the procedure. That's because of that, the anesthetic should be full duration of experiment. And if such occurs or the investigator feels that he has to abandon the experiments or he has inflicted irreparable injury. The animal should be humanly sacrificed, which is called as the euthanasia. Neurovascular blocking agents must not be used without adequate general anesthetic agent. These are the commonly used anesthetic agents for laboratory animals. All the drugs that like ketamine, hydrochloride, pentobarbital sodium, theopite, thiopental sodium, and urethane, they are administered as milligram per kilogram of the animal weight. And there are several animals which are used like mouse, rat, hamster, guinea pig, rabbit, cat, dog, primate, cattle, and yukin. So, uh, most of the uh, anesthetic agents having one side effect that they produces the mucus secretion or respiratory secretion. For that, uh, one should administer atropine at the given dose 0 0.02 to 0 0.5 mg per kg by subcutaneous intramuscular intravenous route to reduce the saliva, salivary as well as the bronchial secretion. Now, most widely used combination of anesthetics are ketamine and xylazine. They are uh, administered to mouse, rat, rabbit, hamster to produce a good anesthetic uh, level. Now, some sedatives, analgesics and anesthetics should be used to control pain or distress under experiments. Anesthetic agent generally produces cardiovascular problem, respiratory and thermoregulatory problems and the central nervous system problem. So uh, before administration of the anesthetic agent, one has to take care of all these uh, problems with the pre-anesthetic medication. So before going for the actual anesthesia, the animals are prepared for anesthesia by overnight fasting and pre-anesthetic medication should be given which blocks parasympathetic stimulation of cardiopulmonary system and reduces the salivary secretion. Atropine is a drug of choice. As we have discussed previously, it is anticholinergic agent and it reduces most of the bronchial secretion in the animals. So mostly local as well as the general anesthesia are used depending on the type of surgical procedure which has to be carried out. Now, all the anesthetic process should be carried out under the expert supervision or supervisor. Special characteristics and variables of anesthesia must be kept in mind while going for the anesthesia. 
Side effects such as excess salivation, convulsion, excitement, and disorientation should be suitably prevented and controlled by administration of pre-anesthetic medication. The animal should remain under veterinary care till it's completely recovered. So, a veterinarian should be appointed under his observation. This process can be carried out and in the animal should be recovered from anesthesia and post-operative stress. Local anesthetics are widely used for the uh, minor surgical process or the, and they are applied locally. They are regional and reversible elimination of pain with, elimina with chemical compounds that fast elimination of pain as occurs. Then the circulatory and pulmonary and renal function disturbances are widely occurs in the general anesthesia. And this cannot be occurs with the local anesthetic agent this is one good advantages of using local anesthetic agent. Surface anesthesia is widely used and as distinguished from the anesthesia produced after the local injection. Most common compounds for surface anesthesia are tetracaine and pro, uh, proprocaine, procaine, then lidocaine, and then ethidocaine are the most uh, commonly used injectable local anesthetic agents. All the local anesthesia is only recommended for gentle and calm animals like cattle and sheep. For most laboratory animals, general anesthesia is the method of the choice. General anesthetics, they are very important and they are widely used during the surgical procedure. And it is important to check the general condition of the animals prior to the anesthesia. And this includes the clinical examination, like uh, inspiration, then palpitation, expulsion of animal concern. Sometimes it could be useful to perform a few laboratory tests like uh, hematocrites, hemoglobin, pH value of blood, and acid-base balance before induction of the general anesthesia. Those animals which produces vomiting refluxes, they are uh, fasted prior to the anesthesia. Most of the animal species, they should be fasted for a period of 12 hours, but uh, pigs and cattle, they are fasted for at least 24 hours. Water can be offered during the fasting period at libitum. Some pre-medications are uh, given to the animal before anesthesia. For easier administration of the anesthetics and for elimination of side effect of the anesthetic agent, such as disturbing autonomic refluxes, cardiovascular problem, respiratory problem, we have to administer pre-medication. Now to prevent hydration and base excess, infusion of glucose or ringer solution can be used for this purpose. In case of acidosis, the treatment of the animal with sodium, bicarbon sodium carbonate is recommended. Atropin is administered to avoid cardiopulmonary problems and to decrease the salivary production. Recommended dose usually in between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 mg per kg body weight. Sedation and pain elimination can be carried out uh, to calm the animals and to stabilize the autonomic nervous system. Animal has always to be observed very carefully during the anesthesia. Then general anesthesia has to be administered by two major routes. One is the injection route and another is the inhalation route. The drugs or compounds which are widely used as a general anesthetics in the form of the injection are barbiturates, chloral hydrates, ketamine, xylazine, urethane and hypnotics agents. Inhalation anesthetics are also widely used. They play a minor role for small laboratory animals like rodents. More common for the bigger laboratory animals such as dogs, cats, sheep, goats and monkeys. Advantages of these inhalations are the possibility of controlling exactly the depth of anesthesia and for fast management of complications, these inhalation anesthetics are preferred. The parts of an inhalation system includes bottle with oxygen, then wall to regulate pressure, flow meter, evaporator, oxygen bypass, and tube to the system. All these are the parts which you can observe uh, 
uh, in hospital also but in case of animals such parts are there to inject to monitor the inhalation anesthesia there are different techniques used for the administration of inhalation anesthesia in laboratory like techniques of insufflation it is a simple procedure without wall and co2 absorb another is the open system the stephen slatter it is the most used system and it is widely used for small animals then half close and close system this is economic benefits the decrease of fluid and body heat losses from the animals and no risk to the laboratory rats then these are the anesthesia of experimental animals various uh, anesthetics and along with that what are the pre medicating compound then sedative compound then short anesthesia medium anesthesia long anesthesia so this chart will helpful to choose the actual anesthetic agent based on the type of animal and the duration of the anesthesia which you want to produce these are the reference that uh, vogel drug discovery and evaluation and cpcsa guideline this contents um, uh, taken from the reference uh, documentation and are used only for the education purpose so that the students can understand it easily uh, understand it easily there is a no commercial purpose for the development of or the preparation of this video so thank you all of you for listening this uh, video thank you